Hello everyone and welcome to the Fintech Times. We are here today at Pay360 in London where we're talking about everything Paytech, everything Paytech industry. It's all very interesting. Today I'm joined by Baz Bajak. How are you, Bajak? Thank you. Yeah. How are you? I'm good, thank you. You enjoying the event? Yeah, very good. Yeah, it's great to be around people and not to be on Zoom. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I still feel like we should be on Zoom. But um, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's great to see so many new faces and yes. meeting people actually face to face. It exactly. makes a lovely change. Yes. Yeah. So we mustn't leave our viewers waiting any longer. How, why don't you tell them a bit about who you are and where you've come from? Sure, yes. Uh, I'm Bashak Toprak. Um, uh, I manage e-commerce solutions uh, for JP Morgan payments business uh, in EMEA. Uh, my team works with digital natives uh, as well as uh, fintechs and marketplaces, payment platforms to customize payment solutions uh, as well as uh, treasury management solutions as well. Well, that sounds like a very interesting business, so thank you very much. And I think, you know, today we're, we're looking at everything Paytech related, yes. looking at all, all different dimensions of, of the modern day transaction. And I was just wondering, you know, as a forerunner in the industry, how have you seen the pandemic shape payments in the last two years? Sure. Uh, I think we've seen a tremendous uh, 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 rate of digital adoption. Uh, which obviously uh, means you know going online, uh, online commerce, enabling online commerce. Uh, I think some stu studies uh, show that the digital acceleration has been around six years for uh, business and organizations. So that's that's great. And uh, businesses had to pivot their business models, uh, provide online services. Uh, and I think you know the pandemic really helped businesses to find out that there is uh, you know they can provide services that they didn't consider before. Uh, so this you know anything as a service became became normal, uh, and we've seen lots of shift towards uh, subscription model services, um, direct to consumers. Uh, and so on, uh, really leveraging online presence uh, and helping consumers reach services online efficiently, enabled by payments in the background. <laughs> yeah. It's very, it's very interesting that you say that because a lot of, a lot of what we've talked about today is is about how this isn't this paytech revolution isn't anything new that it was actually already in motion before before yes. the pandemic and i think if, if anything it's just the pandemic has added like fuel to the fire yeah, exactly. really you know yes. so it's it's really it's almost as if the future has arrived early in a way which is is really really interesting i mean we we see a lot in the industry now from startups or mainly uh, digital institutions but i'm just wondering you know we we think of incumbent banks so you know hsbc all, all of the big ones we, we we think of them as as quite major industry players and i'm just wondering what is your view on how the traditional players are handling this digital revolution sure I mean, from a JP Morgan perspective, you know, we help our clients digital uh, transformation and we provide them with solutions uh, for their digital transformation. But to, to do that, we need to have our own digital roadmap as well. Uh, and to do that, you know, you need to have, um, uh, you know, investment in technology. Uh, and have a, a digitization roadmap of modernizing the platforms uh, so that you know we can enable our customers so we've been on that journey already uh, and I think with with the pandemic um, we, we we noticed that you know some of those tools that we've been working on for for years have been uh, picked up very quickly by our clients uh, and have really been uh, very useful. Um, you know, things like, you know, APIs, uh, digital signatures, virtual assistant technology, uh, all of this have been really forefront in terms of our clients' adoption, helping them uh, with their journey. So we are on that roadmap in terms of, you know, making sure uh, you know, we are up to date and we enable our clients' uh, transformation. Uh, Have you seen anything that's specific to the EMEA region that, that's 
possibly a standalone from the rest of the world? I think in terms of um, you know, EMEA focus, uh, I think we've seen um, uh, some changes in behavior uh, you know, since um, the pandemic in terms of you know, what users focused on. Um, so, uh, for example, you know, in EMEA, um, you know, things like focusing on local providers have been, have been key, right? Uh, so shop from your local providers uh, and any platform that enables that have been, you know, preferred. Uh, so that's, that's great. Um, and, you know, other regions had, um, you know, things like super apps uh, and hopefully, you know, in EMEA as well, we're going to move towards a, a super app type of uh, uh, platform as well. There are many many players who you know could be could be going in that in that direction in EMEA too. Well, it's it's a very exciting time for the region, definitely, and especially you know they're wrapping up the the expo at the moment in in that region. So I think it's there's a lot happening there, and it'll be very exciting to see how the region. Create, creates an identity for itself mm. through its, its yes. Paytech innovation. Now, I'm, you know, when we talk about Paytech, we we think about its close links to fintech, don't we? Yes. And, and we think about how it's sort of applicable, and it's it's almost like a natural combination in a way. But from a J.P. Morgan standpoint, do you see Paytech being applicable in any other industries or sectors beyond fintech? Yeah, absolutely, and I think we're already seeing that. Um, uh, I think you know one of the, um, the the areas that you know the digital disruptors that we've seen over the past years, you know, bringing together buyers and sellers, marketplaces. I think their initial uh, idea was to do exactly that, right? Bring together buyers and sellers. But then over time, they realized that payments is not just an enabler of commerce but there is value in you know creating stored value as well as you know keeping funds in the ecosystem uh, and helping you know provide those underlying customers with payment services uh, so you know I think there was recognition uh, amongst those players to you know look at payments as a business and uh, not just an enabler of, of commerce um, and you know that's kind of a digital native uh, example, but we're also seeing uh, you know traditional players, you know, be it in the uh, automotive sector or uh, pharma and other sectors are also looking at you know uh, providing marketplaces, maybe initially to sell their own products, but then over time, you know, selling products that are relevant to their customers, and then you know you get a marketplace uh, and then you're in the payments business <laughs> so definitely i think i think we're going to see more of that uh, evolve and in in the emea region specifically have you seen any sectors that have been uh, embracing paytech more more than others are there any specific outside of Outside of fintech, shall we say, have you have you noticed any highlights? Yeah, I think uh, connected cars is a is a definitely an area uh, where you know there is more um, uh, you know uh, needs for enabling payment services within that connected car experience. Uh, so I would say you know that's definitely uh, one area. And then you know travel is another one, right? Booking. Um, travel as well as accommodation etc again those platforms are um, you know moving into getting licensed and setting up their payments uh, units uh, so those are kind of two examples uh, I can think of well that's that's fantastic and it's it's a very exciting time indeed for, for the whole world you know and, and seeing how Paytech can really create a new user experience you know it's very interesting. Hopefully, this time next year, when we attend yes. the event again, it'll be a it'll be a, a, a different conversation that we're having. More to we'll, talk about. But we'll have yes. to wait until that happens. Exactly. Anyway, Bajak, thank you so much for joining thank me today. Thank you. Very I hope nice you enjoyed the rest of the event. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks.